Hi Virgo, this is your mid-December uh, tarot reading. I do three separate spreads in my mid-month readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage, and I'll do a love from the past, aka the X spread. Also, check out my latest post in the community section of my channel on the January 22nd, 23rd date. Perhaps this is going to be useful for you. Also, please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the lovers, clarified by the three of ones. We have the six of swords. Uh, we have the ace of pentacles, clarified by the sun. In the potential outcome, we have the ace of cups with the uh, ten of cups and the two of cups. And we also have temperance on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, a Gemini or a Leo or a Sagittarius or pretty much any zodiac sign. Right? We've got every single element on the table, Virgo. We've got ones, swords, pentacles. And lots and lots of cups, <laughs> right? Every single card in the potential outcome is a cups card. That's that's awesome. What I noticed about this spread, uh, Virgo, I don't want to call it slow, but it is kind of, you know, slow going. It's like you guys are moving at the, the pace that you're comfortable with, and I, it feels mutual. This is such a Virgo reading, to be honest with you, right? Because we've got lots of cups, and at the same time, we have this Ace of Pentacles, uh, we got two Aces as a matter of fact, uh, Temperance on the bottom of the deck. This is the energy of let's just uh, chill, let's just take it slow, let's not rush into anything, let's think about it, let's get to know each other. You know, it's that type of energy. And uh, it kind of feels like uh, somebody here is making up their mind, making a final decision to move forward, to answer the call. And I think that's you. So for some of you, perhaps you've been talking to this person for a while or um, you've been dating this person for a while. And I think this, uh, in the second half of December, you will make a decision to kind of, like I said, answer the call and uh, take it uh, all the way with this person. Okay? Um, you're going to make it official. You will tell everybody, yes, we're a couple and things like that. And uh, the rest is history. All right, I really like it. Like I said, such a Virgo reading. Such a Virgo reading. Love it, just love it. Anyway, we start off with the lovers. You could be dealing with a Gemini, right? The lovers is a Gemini major icon of card. The lovers is also a card of a choice. All right, so somebody here is making a choice, and that's most likely you to answer the call, to make it official, to move forward with this person, because uh, you already got to know each other, so yeah, it's, uh, it's an appropriate time to move forward. Right, um, the uh, the lovers is, um, in my opinion, also the best card when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It's a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of a twin flame connection, and uh, it could be a card of the love of your life. Right. Also, in my opinion, the only other card that comes close to it in terms of the actual love connection between two people is the two of cups. And uh, the last card in the potential outcome. Is the Two of Cups, right? The Two of Cups is also a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people are on the same page, two people feel the same way towards one another. But back to the Lovers card. The Lovers is classified by the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision to move forward or to do something, right? And uh, the Six of Swords is what this decision is all about. The Six of Swords right next to the Lover's card is a card of moving forward. And the thing about the Six of Swords, it's not one of those really fast cards, like the Eight of Wands or the Chariot, right, or the Knight of Swords. The Six of Swords, it is a card of moving forward, but it's you're moving at your own comfortable pace, right? And uh, the thing about the Six of Swords, this card is an improvement card. The Six of Swords always makes things better, right? And that's what I think is happening here. Your life is about to get better. I'm not saying your life is terrible right now, no. But my personal belief is we're in each other's lives to make each other's lives better because otherwise what's the point? And I think that's exactly what's happening here. You got to know this person very well, so now you are moving forward. Right, And uh, we have um, the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Sun. There you go. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, by the way. But it is a golden opportunity. You, f you see this person as a golden opportunity now that you're comfortable with them. Right? Uh, you see the future with this person. You see the potential. You see the long term with this person. Right? The Sun clarifying the um, Ace of Pentacles could be a Leo you're dealing with. Or the Sun is a card of clarity. So now you're crystal clear 
uh, what the future holds, now you're moving forward, right? The sun is also the happiest card in the deck. So I guess this person makes you really, really happy. <laughs> Speaking of happiness, in the uh, potential outcome we have uh, those three cups cards, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Cups. The Ten of Cups in the middle is the Happily Ever After card. It's a family card, it's a card of, um, um, you know, it's the best card, or one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. The Ace of Cups to the left from the Ten of Cups, this is what it's all about, love. The Ace of Cups is the second ace here. It's um, genuine, authentic love between you and this person. So this is such an amazing, beautiful Virgo story. <laughs> All right, I'm not even going to do an extended for you because uh, that would be a waste of time. Just love it. We got practicality with the Ace of Pentacles. We got so much love and emotions. We got happiness. We've got uh, two soulmate cards. We've got the Patience cards with the Temperance card. It's awesome. Virgo, really happy for you. Congratulations. Virgo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. So we got the whole bunch of people <laughs> and the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. All right. Um, yeah, so many court cards, right? Uh, it's either um, a family reunion or it could be um, a Sagittarius's birthday party if you have a Sagittarius in your life. Or it could be just a party, you know, a holiday party. Um, that's what I think is happening. Yes, the Three of Cups sometimes can be interpreted as a third party situation, but we've got way too many people, right? Uh, the Emperor, the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the King of Cups, and uh, the King of Wands. I think it's a bunch of people celebrating something. Perhaps it could, it could be a retirement party for the Emperor, right? The Emperor could be a boss figure at work or somebody's father or grandfather or a figure of authority. You know, like I said, uh, if you have a Sagittarius in your life, perhaps uh, you're celebrating their birthday party. The King of Wands right next to the deck could be that Sagittarius, right? But um, yeah, I think it's just uh, some kind of a celebration, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Virgo, in the uh, second half of December. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Knight of Swords, clarified by the King of Pentacles, we have you, the Hermit, <laughs> clarified by the Ten of Cups, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign, uh, Taurus, another Virgo Capricorn, or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or perhaps this person's got both Earth and Air in their chart. Because we got the uh, King of Pentacles, clarifying the Knight of Swords. I'm, if you watched uh, the uh, New Love spread, uh, in the beginning of this reading, you may recall I said that that type of, that situation was kind of slow. It's like people were not in a hurry. People were uh, taking it easy, getting to know each other. This spread right here is a complete opposite. It's still a commitment. We'll get to that in just a second. But we got the Knight of Swords. The first guy that came out, this is the fastest knight out of all four knights, right? So this person is rushing back in and there is some kind of a sense of urgency going on here. Right, we also have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. That Ace of Swords belongs to that Knight of Swords, slash King of Pentacles, right? You see how the Knight of Swords is holding up a sword? That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. So some kind of truth could be coming out. Perhaps they will tell you the whole truth why they broke up with you, or why what happened did happen the way it did, right? The Ace of Swords is also a card of uh, clarity. It's going to be very straightforward, very direct conversation between the two of you. They're not going to be fooling or playing around with you. They'll just tell you straight up that they want you back, they want to commit to you. Th because we have two commitment or marriage cards on the table, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. One of them, as a matter of fact, is clarifying you. You're the hermit. That's your major arcana card, Virgo. Right? So I think you're on board. Um, yeah, both the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles are amazing cards. And even one of them would have been enough, would have been awesome to have. When both of them are on the table, that's beyond awesome, I guess. Because <laughs> the Ten of Cups is emotionally fulfillment. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is a practical uh, commitment or marriage. And so is the Ten of Cups. So you, got, you basically get both of those. The, you get the best of both worlds. Emotional fulfillment and practicality with this person. And I do believe it's a, it's a reconciliation. Virgo, it really is. With those two cards here, um, yep, 
you guys are getting back together. All right, so that's what I have for you, um, Virgo, for this reading for the second half of December. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing rest of December and the rest of the year.